Hi you guys, my name is Shereen Warren, I'm the founder of Ivy Wild and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be talking high porosity. Ivy Wild is a hair products company which caters to wavy, curly and kinky hair types. If you'd like to find out more about Ivy Wild then go to www.ivywild.co.uk. This video is dedicated to those of you who have high porosity. If you're unsure what porosity level you are, I've done a previous video which explains uh, the differences between low and high porosity. So, if you have high porosity, that means the cuticles within your hair strands are constantly open. This means that moisture can get into the hair strand, but it goes straight back out again. The main reason why this is an issue is because your hair is not retaining moisture. If you have high porosity, that can mean that your cuticles within the hair strand are damaged. If we were to look under a microscope, we would see the cuticles within the hair strand raised and kind of broken, and that would actually indicate damage within the hair strand itself. Porosity does not discriminate with hair type. Doesn't matter what curl pattern you are, doesn't matter what hair type you are, every person has a different type of porosity. However, most people with high porosity hair have finer hair strands and the main reason why that is because they have finer and thinner cuticle layers. If you have high porosity hair, you might notice that your hair dries really, really quickly. The actual strands themselves actually have the cuticles kind of overlap each other like that. So if you think about the cuticles on the hair strand being torn, missing, raised, you're going to get an uneven surface on the hair strand itself, which is what the tangling derives from. So instead of the hair strands doing this, smoothly gliding against each other, they're doing this, where they're interlocking, there's a, and that's what's causing the tension and the tangling happening within your hair. If you are suffering from high porosity hair, here are some things that you could do. Treatments. By making sure that you actually go to a hair salon, or even if it's a DIY treatment, making sure that your hair is coated and treated is really important. Adding this to your routine, your new hair routine, it actually helps your hair to have a seal around it and it protects, it adds an extra layer of protection and you're, what you're doing is you're actually making sure that any moisture that goes into the hair strand can then be retained within the hair strand itself. A beneficial product that you could add to your routine is the Ivy Wild Moisturising Lotion with Keratin Amino Acids. We've added keratin to this product mainly because it actually helps to rebuild weak hair structure. So if you have high porosity hair at the moment, your structure within the hair strand itself is weak because of the damage that is created. So along with the frizz, you might get a lot of breakage as well. If you have high porosity hair, you will want to avoid any tight braids, any really tight coiling twists mainly because your hair is already quite fragile. Yes to using a wide tooth comb, yes to making sure that you're using a product that gives you a lot of slip and that will actually help reduce the amount of tangling you get within your hair. You might want to swap from a hairband to a scrunchie. You want to be quite delicate with your hair now because again, you've already exposed it to a lot of damage and it's the small changes that you make that can make a huge difference to the growth and to the health of your hair. So remember, no to really tight styles and yes, nice, looser, gentle handling of your hair. Something else you will want to avoid if you already have high porosity hair is hair straighteners and heating methods that increase the damage of your hair. It's more than likely that damage has already been caused from heating tools or a chemical, for example, it could be a relaxer or it could be a dye that you've been adding on your hair. Um, it's the general over-processing. It can even be from too much sunshine, so you might want to get a UV protectant on your hair. And it's making sure that before we put any appliances or chemicals on our hair, we're actually using protectants before the damage has occurred. Prevention is better than cure. So you may want to alter what kind of hairstyles you're going for if it means that your hair is going to be exposed to a lot of sunshine or exposed to a lot of heating tools. You might want to follow the LOC method for high porosity hair. Now this stands for liquid oil cream, also known as leave-in oil cream. The main reason why it is so good for your hair is because it actually helps to lock in the moisture and seal the hair strands when you're actually adding products to it. This method ensures that your hair is nice and healthy, bouncy, strong and hydrated, which is the most important thing. So you could start with a leave-in spray, for example, that could be a leave-in conditioning spray that you start with. Then you might want to go with the oil, so you're actually oiling the hair strands and then adding the cream. And the cream is the last barrier that you put on your hair, basically, to help make sure that that moisture is locked in. Because again, with high porosity hair, it tends to want to make the 
moisture of your hair escape. So the main reason why we use the lock method is to make sure it's locked in. If you would like to find out more about your hair, whether it's vitamin deficiency, scalp conditions, ferocity levels, I've written a book. Within this book, you can find out more information about your vitamin deficiency, scalp conditions, how to grow your edges back if you've got thinning edges. I teach you about hair types. I teach you about hair science in here. All the good things that you need to know in order to create a fantastic new hair routine. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.